of the top 10 wallets where price isn't an issue today, so stick around. Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here as always. Go to Wallatopia.info, register. You won't regret it. And remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. We purchase all we review, and we review them kind of the way I want. It's all about me. Well, it's actually all about you. But anyway, I've had many requests. I put out a poll about uh, what you would like to see on some of the top wallets. And one of the top one of those is what is it? Uh, what are the top 10 wallets where price is not part of the algorithm? So let's get into it. Normally you would see wallets sitting right here, but there's no wallets right here because we're going to talk about the algorithm really quick, just what the adjustment we made and where those extra percentage points went. So you can see here the normal, quote normal algorithm, what we usually do our ratings on is right here, where we have a breakdown of quality is 30%, price is 20, features 10, usability 25, and perception is 15. Well, we've made changes. For this particular review, we took out price. And here you go. You can see where we redistributed the price percentage points. Quality got a whole lot more. Usability got uh, a little less. And perception got more and features got a little bit. So this really reflects what you would think when you're going for something other than price. You're looking for more quality, not necessarily features, but is it usable? And especially the perception of the company, who you're buying from. That does drive our perception of value, what we really try and stay away from, but that really is kind of what we're looking at. See so if we can get them in here. This, the Craft and Lore Port Wallet on the top. Anson Calder, Card Plus Wallet. Some higher end brands do actually do some great products here. They recently reviewed One Star Leather, Six Pocket Horizontal. This uh, is handmade quality leather at its, at its best. Love it. The Abrus Small Wallet, handmade Japanese, multifaceted, really, really good. Recently reviewed the Aviator Wallet, Slide. Only band wallet that really made it in this list. We have the Mitchell Leather MCW, classic design that has become a loved bifold wallet and a very slim footprint. We have the Anson Calder, another Anson Calder, Cash Wallet, consistency by a brand, really demonstrated in this particular review. Of course, our loved Dosselfine Mirror Gun Deck Quick Draw, unique designs, functional excellence from him. We also have another Dosselfine Mirror. It's really knocking it out of the park here. This is the Hubei, continues to demonstrate excellent value. And finally, the Lost Dutchman. Uh, this is uh, the Jackson, fantastic, all handmade, wonderful quality. Similar to the Craft and Lore, Lost Dutchman demonstrates uh, what you're looking for in handmade. All right, all right, all right. Now, price, I know price isn't what we're looking at here, but y'all want to know about price. You always want to know about price. So I'll just throw some price numbers on top of these. Now, as you can tell, the price was pretty significant on some of these, not so much on others, some you would expect. But ultimately, when the price was removed, these all floated to the top. When price isn't an issue, then all the other factors come into play. And as you can see, some of these had some varying uh, degrees of price. Some were very close. Hey, please take the time to subscribe. If you haven't already, you want to learn more about wallets in the future, to buy or just love and the craft that goes on, subscribe now. Now let's get through the quality of each of these as we walk through each wallet and the highlights. All right, let's look at the Craft and Lore. Craft and Lore, this is a fantastic wallet that is uses Wicket and Craig Veg Tan full grain leather. It is saddle stitched by hand. It smells, oh yeah, ooh, yeah, wonderful. And there's really a, a wallet that I recently did a carry test on. That'll be published here very soon. Love it. Then we look at the Anson Calder Card Plus wallet. I did use this as well. This is French Veg Tanned calfskin. Nice burnished edges. This also has a great smell and feel to it. Love this particular wallet. One star. Six pocket horizontal. One star leather, six pocket horizontal here. Full grain, veg tan, horween leather. And um, really, again, yeah, great quality here. And these crease features right here at the top, very well done, something that uh, does take effort. This isn't something that just happens by itself. Love this wallet. All right, let's keep on going. We have the small wallet from Abrasus. This is just, a, just a, a, again, a well-designed wallet. You're going, what the heck is this thing here? Well, that actually helps make sure that when this is closed, it closes completely and make sure that uh, it has the full attention of the leather and the footprint that it has there. Made from uh, Italian Butero leather. It's all made in Japan by hand. Love this one. 
Now let's see here. Now we've got the uh, Aviator Slide. Manufactured and assembled in Germany. The top and bottom pieces are aluminum. And of course, uh, this has a coin tray as part of it right here. This coin tray is what makes this really unique offering. All kinds of options you can do with this one uh, that are available. Quality uh, and reduction of weight on this is what's really important with this particular one. With the Mitchell Leather MCW, designed, made in the United States. Mitchell Leather has been making this particular wallet for over 30 years now. And let's see if we can get this to, uh, there we go. Get that to focus there. Love it. Established performance record. This is a fantastic hardware that's here. Great, great wallet. Now we have the Anson Calder. This is the cash wallet. Again, French veg tanned calfskin leather here. It's got this side opening for cash. Two card wall or two uh, card slots here. I kind of flip around. This is a uh, nice thumb push here. Uh, edges are burnished, which I believe are for flexibility in the cash insertion. Feels and smells great. Now we're moving on to the Dasselfine Mirror. Here's the Gun Deck Quick Draw. This is Italian Butero Veg Tan Leather as well. Feels and... Oh yeah. Oh man. Can't get enough of that. Excellent saddle stitching all along here. It's a wonderful, wonderful design that uh, Michael continues to put together for his particular wallets here. And get a final look at it. Very nice. And its companion on the table here, the Hubei. Made in the USA as well, full grain veg tan Italian butter leather, just like the uh, gun deck. And uh, again, unique designs that Michael comes up with here that really make these exceptional wallets. Really, really exceptional. And then uh, pulling in the last is the Jackson by the Lost Dutchman. Made, designed in the United States, made of full grain veg tan Horween or Wicket and Craig leather. Man, got a lot of focus issues here. Here we go. Fantastic. It's a wrap style wallet, very similar to the. Several that we've seen before. Great design, great leather. All right, I know each of these has a review that'll be down in the notes as well, but we're gonna go through just quickly the features of each one of these. So let's start. Let's move these aside. Let's get going in here. So here we have the Craft and Lore port wall. Fantastic. It is a wrap wall, so it's got a card slot in the front as well as one right behind it. This wraps around, so you have yet another slot in the back. So three external slots and an internal pocket slot here as well for cash and other cards. Very simple, fantastic. And we have the Anson Calder Card Plus Wallet. It has an external card slot on the front, another one on the back, access from the top here, as well as this slit here, so you can put cash in folded twice. And then from the top down, we have yet one more card slot pocket here for cash and additional cards. For the One Star Leather, six pocket, horizontal, fantastic. What I love is just this open top here. Uh, works great for additional cards. Easy to gain access to cash in here. So it's got two card slots on each side and it's got a rear card uh, or cash slot here as well. Fantastic looking leather and wallet itself. Got the Avarus small wallet. It is exactly like this. From the exterior, with that, before you open it, it has this opening right here that you can push, you can see, cards through and extract them from here. So as this is closed, you're able to pull cards out. Once open, of course you have access to the cards there. Open it once, and you have then access to coins that are right here, and it is a cash wrap wallet. So cash lays here, folds up and closes. Nice little minimalist wallet for cash, coins, and cards. Now to the Aviator Slide Wallet. Talked about this quite a bit. It has a new pull strap feature, what it has, as well as the existing coin slot and tray, and it can hold up to 20 cards. Well, just because of the adjustability of the features of this, great flexibility. Mitchell, MCW. Again, quality standards that uh, make this uh, just a wall loved around the world. It has two internal card slots, one on each side and a cash clip. And this is not the normal kind of cash clip. This is built in as part of the hardware itself, tension based, and cash just slides in just beautifully behind this. Fantastic profile, wonderful wallet. Anson Calder, back again with <clears throat> the cash wallet. A very familiar thumb push features here for a card slot on the front and in the back. And it has the side entry for cash. 
cash that can be folded once if you're US, Canadian, Australian, uh, twice for yen, euro, and so forth, or you can do it twice if you have uh, just normal currency folded once. It will kind of stick out. That, uh, what I understand, is a design feature from these folks. Now we're down to the Quick Draw Gun Deck by Dasselfine Mayer. Love this wallet, external card slot here. If we open it up, it has a, another card slot here, another card cash slot here, uh, ability to just uh, carry all kinds of, of cash and cards. Uh, great capacity here, and this will stretch as it's uh, wonderful leather. Then to the Hubei, a little slimmer than the gun deck, but it is a cash wrap. A little taller in its flap here, allows cash to go in here, as well as having cards in these two front slots there, and a card slot in the back. Fantastic. And finally, we're looking at the Jackson Lost Dutchman. Another wrap wallet. It's got a slot here in the front, slot in the back, as well as another card slot pocket here in the middle to carry your cash and your cards. All right, let's see what we've got by way of card capacity in each of these. These will be pretty much recommendations from the company or what we've been able to see ourselves. Craft and Lore, really up to 10 cards comfortably once this stretches. This is all once the leather has stretched out properly. Remember, don't put any cards in there that you don't intend to keep in the future because once it stretches out, uh, it'll be hard for you to reduce the number of cards. Now, the Anson Calder, for example, it is made of French calfskin, which does have a bit of contraction capability in it. So even though you may stretch a lot of cards in there uh, over time, you could remove some and it will come back and will still work. So the Anson Calder, again, up to 12 cards. One star, six pocket horizontal. Definitely get up to 12 cards in there. Company indicates eight to 12. The Abra Small Wallet, you can get up to 15 coins, 15 slips of cash, but only five cards. It's a well-balanced wallet from what it provides. Aviator slide up to 20 cards, as well as cash holder twice and some coins. Now the Mitchell Leather MCW uh, standard wallet, you can get two to three cards per slot, as well as as much cash as you want to put in there. Company recommends really up to 12. Anson Calder, cash wallet, company recommends up to 12 when it's fully stretched. Dasofine Mirror, gun deck quick draw, up to 10 cards. And the Hubei, about you know, eight to 10 right in there as well. And then finally the Lost Dutchman, 10 to 12 cards, fantastic. Now let's look at the sizes of each of these. Obviously you can see them visually, but uh, we'll put the measurements on top so you can get a quick look at them. All depends on what you want to carry in your pocket. Those are the sizes. And of course we follow up by its weight. Let's look at the weights of each of these. Of course these weights are unencumbered with coin, cash, or cards what it would be with just nakedness. Now let me take you through Mark's opinion of each of these. As I've had them in my hands, worked with them, carried some of them as well. The Craft & Lore. Uh, you can't help but love the wallet for its genuine quality. The company is all about quality. The products they create by hand. The motto is heritage, heirloom, quality, and durability. And their logo, the logo here in the front, is a Swedish axe, which represents one of the oldest tools of our ancestor makers. The support organization is wonderful from the owners and the customers love their products. Great wallet. Let's look at the Anson Calder Card Plus wallet. I think I just kind of <laughs> spit a little bit. Anyway, small, thin, very small, very thin. I love the footprint and the feel. Attention to detail, quality of the materials is really top notch. And there's this top white thread that's one of their calling cards. Really, really good and you're really gonna like that. Presentation is 100%. You feel like you're really getting what you're paying for with this one. Now let's look at the Six pocket horizontal one star leather. Keegan, who's the owner of one star leather, started it in 2012 as a way to support his filmmaking habit, which is a great habit. You should go look at his website, see what he's done. And uh, you really understand uh, how he approaches his products based on the quality of this filming. In the end, his work in leather demonstrates how he's bridged his skill in visual, auditory, and emotional film work to the physical good side of things. Very well done. Now let's look at the Avarice small wallet. This little wallet. Uh, love the various material options with this wallet and this one in particular is made of Butero leather as mentioned and it will form to your body over time the capabilities for cards, cash and coin uh, really is is uh, is fantastic on this. The design is very innovative as all of Avarice's products are all made uh, in Japan. Now, Aviator Slide Wallet. Unlike other band wallet companies, Aviator continues to innovate on their designs. You think what all can you do with a sandwich wallet like this? Well, they keep coming up with new stuff, which really makes them stand out. The Mitchell Leather. Mitchell Leather works with is really works with the best and most exotic leathers to create their line of products, including belts and briefcases that kind of run over $9,000. 
Their attention to quality and craft is what you'd expect, and their products really show that and really demonstrate the talent and skill of their maker over decades of time. Now let's look at the Anson Calder Cash Wallet. Again, love the footprint of their wallets. Uh, they feel very thin, they are, but they're very durable. Attention to detail, quality again, top notch, as you find with all Anson Calder products. You can see it a little better here where you've got this white, uh, this white thread here. It's just a great presentation. And for the quick drop, love the products uh, produced by Michael in his, in his company. Very unique designs, style he's carved out for himself and in the leather maker world. Loved by his customers, built expertly by him, the owner. And if we look at the next one on the list here, the Hubei, again, another demonstration of how he wraps different products, color or different leathers, different colors of leathers together. You can choose different colors of the thread, all kinds of options here that makes us just a product that once you purchase, you'll be back to buy more. Then finally, the Lost Dutchman, the Jackson here. Great handmade leather making from a very skilled maker, Nate. He's the owner, very young man, and he makes fantastic products by hand, and he sews everything by hand. Everything's done by hand, and that shows a dedication to the craft. Now, in conclusion, as you can see, when we took away price and just removed it from the equation and just said, we're just going for quality, we're going for perception, usability, features, and whatnot, uh, you can really see how that came out. So what's the difference between the original score and the adjusted removed price score? Well, I'll show you right now. The first score is the adjusted score, what we get when we remove price. And the second is its original score, which included the adjustment for price. You can see that some took a considerable jump, some where price wasn't so high, uh, they it didn't adjust as much, but overall, they all still came out fantastic. Thanks for joining us for this uh, different kind of unique approach to what we're looking at by way of our wallets. Hopefully you found it interesting. And again, these things float to the top. You find great products when you look at them in a different lens. We hope you'll join us again. Thanks, bye.